Maelstrom is the name of the game, and we are going to be playing the very first 10 minutes of the video game. I believe it has like a little tutorial, and we'll go through that, and we'll review it together based only on the very first 10 minutes of the game. Okay? So here we go. We are heading on in. You can play this game with keyboard and mouse. That's what I'm choosing to use. I believe you can also use uh, a controller. I did not choose to use a controller, but you can also use a controller. So I know I had my mouse on the screen right there. Uh, welcome to Maelstrom. Arr, this tutorial will show you how to control a ship, says I. And introduce to the basics of play. Arr, arr, arr. Uh, Jamie's over there. She's baking away. She's baking ice cream. Ah, it's inside of her oven and everything. So, uh, shall we go into the gameplay, shall we say? What do I do? A to continue or the space bar? I don't know what I choose. I'm going to choose to let you see the screen for another minute. Um, anyone helped? I pooped. He's almost at the 200 target. Man, when I first when I first hung out with Poops, it was about four days ago, and he was only at like 60. Yeah, no joke. He is moving quite along. To sail your ship. Press forward or backwards. Press W for forward and S for backward. Well, you can't go backwards. Wow. A little bit slow movement on the turning, but maybe that's because it's a ship and it's realistic. The graphics are actually really cool. I am definitely digging them at this uh, particular moment. There's a little trident that pops off the side of the ship to fire your can. Fire your cannons, aim with the mouse, and click. Click the screen. R. Okay, uh, easy. Oh, so you actually fire where the trident goes. Not too bad. It looks like uh, there's a little reload. So uh, the white goes away when... Oh, ram him! I rammed the buoy. Uh, you can turn to the side. It looks like you have a set of cannons on each side of the boat. Travel to the next area, says I. Arr. Uh, now you're ready for some real action. That wasn't real action. I liked it. Um, the white water is a current. Sail along its seas. So if you move along the current, you uh, sail a little bit faster. When you press backwards, it looks like you put away your sails. Maybe you can turn a little bit quicker. Uh, you have to collect random treasure chests that are floating inside of the ocean. That's cool. Um, I do know I have looked uh, slightly into the information of this game before I was able to play it. It looks like there is online play, so you can uh, actually play against other ships. That's pretty cool. I don't think we can go between those cracks. Man, the ship would definitely have crashed right there. Um, a quiche, 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 oh, a quiche, yum, like uh, the pie, like a shepherd's pie, that sounds delicious, I don't think that's where she was going with that, fire at the walls, we could create a rock, oh my goodness, no wonder they called it maelstrom, you know, there's a maelstrom right there, go into the whirlpool, look out, a maelstrom's ahead, says I, maelstrom's be dangerous, how come it didn't say be dangerous, that would have worked, um, two plus two equals four, Minus one equals three. You doing homework? <laughs> so this maelstrom thing, it looks like it's pretty easy to sail around. It said that it wasn't easy to sail around. I mean, I thought I would have a much more rough time sailing in and out of that, but it was actually fairly easy to the extent that it wasn't even a maelstrom. I don't know how I feel about that just yet. I wanted a rougher time trying to get out of that. Oh well. Uh, nice work, says I. Now go into this blue area to travel into the next blue area. All right. The tutorial is pretty straightforward and uh, pretty simple to follow thus far. So it looks like a type of game that I can definitely play easily while jumping in and out of. Um, it looks like just matches. So boat on boat action. Satisfaction. Yeah, you could be happy when you're doing it. Could be uh, sad. You did some baking number two earlier. Is that a restroom uh, reference? <laughs> That's terrible. I hope that it's not. Or is it just, uh, you know what kind of bacon we do over here? Okay, uh, that's the tr Fire at will! Arr! Take my cannons to the chest. I'm gonna ram him. No. Sink. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. When you make a boat explode, it goes inside of, like, a slow-motion, high-speed camera look. That's definitely really cool. I like that effect. Uh, now we're collecting his treasure. We're collecting the booty. Arr! How fun the booty of the ship was. Now we have you to go, says I. Come here! Ram him! Oh! Straight up ramming speed. Ramming speed! Fire at will, Captain! Firing! Alright, that was, that was pretty fun. Oh no. Arr! Seems like an opportunic. 
Uh, that ship had armor. Oh, no. So I think we're about to fight the boss, and he has armor. I don't like bosses with armor. That makes things difficult. I feel like I'm, like, king of the waters right now. I'm like, uh, Poseidon, king of the Aqualand. I don't know, is that what it... Poseidon? Or is that King Trident? From, from, uh... What is that? Dang it. Ariel, you know? Under the sea. Under the sea! That one. Fire at will! Oh my goodness, it looks like he's gonna ram me. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. This guy's rough. Can't blow him up. Rough! Alright, fire at will! Oh no, we're... I'm gonna try and ram him. I'm gonna try and sneak in. Here we go! Boom! Oh, snaps! Look, we boarded him. All my little people's running off of my ship. That's pretty cool. Wait, do I have people? Did they actually run onto a ship? I don't know. It said I boarded him. Ah, Florida. <laughs> Man, they have the craziest news. Uh, when we go into our news articles of that part of the broadcast, I'll tell you. Those Florida people have some of the strangest things happen. Uh, this is where the big and cool channels hang out. We got some cool channels being able to hang out inside of here this afternoon. That's for sure. Um, as for big channels, not a lot of them. Some of them are hanging out inside of here, and I think it's definitely really cool that they throw their support to the to their family members this afternoon. It, it actually means a lot to me. Uh, he blew me up. Oh, look at the little lifeboat. Oh, look, it's like got one person. Oh, had like one person on that little lifeboat. It was so cute. Oh my goodness, that was really funny. Hello, Florida Jim. Guys, put your hands together for the state of Florida and for Jim because he's. Probably from Florida, I hope. I really hope that I don't get that one wrong. Thank you so very much for being able to stop by. We're currently inside of a pirate ship, claiming our booty. Arr! <laughs> Jim's like, what the heck? We're giving this one a second shot. That guy rammed me and made my ship explode. It was rough, like the dog would say. Typically, there's dogs on a pirate ship, so I can say that, right? It's me pirate game, says I. Uh, oh, I hit him from halfway across the screen! Ramming speeds! Ram him! Well, he did it to me. Why can't I do it to him? He doesn't explode when I ram him. Fire at will! Yeah! Oh, armor down. I've taken his armor. Let's play Squidditch. Squidditch? Squid oh, my goodness. Look at that slow motion effect. Isn't that cool? Yes! Ye pirate dogs, get off me scallywag ship. So we've done it. That was pretty fun. I mean, it was a little bit slow paced, but I'm pretty sure there's like some customizations or as you continue to play, there's probably some kind of sweet booty that makes your uh, ship move a little bit faster. So at the end of each match, this is like the tutorial screen thing. It shows you what ranking that you are, the bounties that you've got, the gold, how much damage you've done. That's definitely pretty neat. It gives you some tips and some tutorials during the loading screens. Also very helpful. I really don't like when games just have now loading on their screen instead of giving you some tips during the uh, same time. They can give that inside of that. So we did beat the level and this looks like the main screen. It actually looks like there's people chatting inside of the chat room. So you could probably hook up with some friends or family and uh, battle each other online. Pretty cool. Um, I clicked the customization area. So right here you can actually... Yeah, it looks like you can customize your ship from uh, some different settings. You can actually give it different wind trails. That's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and see what uh, the screen one here does. Okay, so when you're sailing, you actually get like a stream of green that goes behind you. A little bit, a uh, little fun. Makes you feel like you're going faster than what you are. Uh, you can also change. Look at the little, the little dolphins. Oh, is that dolphin sharks with like harnesses attached to them? It's like the sharks are pulling the ship. Um, that's your little lifeboat. Isn't that hilarious? Look at the little lifeboat that you're going to have when you blow. Oh, he becomes an airship and flies away. Mike Myers inside of the house, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Myers inside of the house. Take one second to walk as fast as you possibly can because he'll be right behind you when you broadcast with his knife. No, not with his knife. His butter knife. He's, all he's doing is buttering his biscuits. So that's the very first 10 minutes. Uh, it's more like nine and a half minutes tutorial version of a game called Maelstrom. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to review it based only on the very first 10 minutes. Let's see how we feel together. The chat room will disappear for about a minute and then it'll be right on back. So we'll see you guys on the other side. All right. So gameplay. It was a little bit slow for the very first 10 minutes of the gameplay, but I understood where they're coming from because it's a progressive kind of game. As for gameplay, I had a lot of fun blowing things up, and I really like that slow motion feel. Quite a 
few little things and I felt like I was sailing the sea of these sea dogs. So it was actually quite fun. I'm going to give this game a seven and a half on gameplay visuals. Woo! I legitimately really did like those visuals. It wasn't too real. I did not actually feel like an actual ship, but it had a little bit of cartoony that I do like inside of it at the same time that it definitely did go much more realistic at the same time. So I did enjoy the visuals. I'm going to give that an eight. I think they did a really good job for the surroundings. Um, as for audio, man, those explosions were probably quite cool, huh? When those cannons went off, you really felt the bass inside of your heart. I like that. And I really like when games take a little bit of time focusing on the sound effects a little bit more. Good job, guys, on uh, those explosions. I'm going to give that a seven and a half as well. As for difficulty, um, I did die one time and it was fairly difficult to maneuver the boat. You legitimately felt like you were steering a boat the way that you had to turn around. So as for difficulty and the different ships and whatnot, I wasn't able to PvP, but I'm sure that's going to take the level to the next notch. I'm going to give the difficulty a six and a half. I did feel a sense of, uh, you know, that big ship that blew me up. I had a hard time, you know, maneuvering around him and he rammed me. Replay value. I want to play this again. I want to play it against maybe some friends and family. I thought it was definitely something I can hoot and holler and uh, jump around and have a good time. As for replay value, I'm going to give that a seven as well. Uh, let's go ahead and see on the overall. Honestly, it did a good job on pretty much all the way across the board. I really didn't have too many problems. It wasn't the best game I've ever played, but I did enjoy myself for that, uh, at least through the tutorial. And I think overall, this game deserves, I'm thinking inside of my head, uh, seven and a half. Legit, I, I really do think that this game deserves a seven and a half. Good job to the developers on making a very well-made game for an open beta. Open beta usually means, you know, we got most of the features, but not all of them. And there's quite a bit of bugs. And I really didn't experience that myself. So I think they did a really good job for an open open beta. Very first day of launch or access game. Please, goodbye to the rain.